guys, Charlie the plumber here. So here I stand in the middle somewhere of Iron County, Michigan in the Upper Peninsula. But we've been camping here since 1992. We're hunting on federal forest land. Uh, so we picked a, a spot that we've had for 30 plus years or somewhere around 30 years and this is where we're camping at. Getting back to the tent, 16 foot square. We have bunk beds in there that we got from a uh, like a, almost like a Boy Scout camp. We've got three sets of bunks. They do have mattresses on them. They're a four inch foam pad mattress. And then different people use different stuff. Myself, I've got uh, blankets and sheets from Super K or Mama at home. Some people use uh, sleeping bags. Some people use blankets. It is very hot in the high part of the tent. Uh, so normally the people on the upper deck or the, the upper bunk uh, and we'll take you in to show you the tent a little bit later, maybe a different video. But so what we got out here, if you look behind me, on top of the tent, we've got that poly tarp that's up there. It's just, a, it's probably a 24 square poly tarp. And there's actually a tennis ball up on the ridge pole so that our nail that goes through the center post doesn't punch a hole in that poly tarp. And then we've got it pulled down on the sides and basically what that's for is that is for uh, basically an insulating factor. And if you get snow or rain, it's not actually hitting the tent. When you get snow and rain up here in the UP, you never know, sometimes you may get an inch, sometimes you may get 10 inches in a day. And when the tent gets wet, obviously it gets wet inside and out. So the moisture rating or the humidity level in the tent is super wet so everything seems like it's wet or damp, then you have to turn the heat up. So we found that this, uh, what we call a fly, on the outside of the tent really helps out. And then on each one of our posts, we've got four posts going down the back, four across uh, all four sides. We've got little plastic caps on there, uh, PVC caps with short pieces of pipe, so that again, we don't puncture holes in the, in the fly. Um, We've got it staked all the way around. This year on the tent itself, there is like a little flap on the bottom and it's designed for the people in the service. They used to cover that with like a sand or something like that to keep the heat in, keep the cool in, however they're using that thing. This year, we've actually cut our post down. The only post there, the original size is the door post. Uh, everything else we've cut down six inches. So we just lay that flap on the ground and then we cover it with this queen and our carpeting inside the tent. Uh, and then with it being staked down, you don't get any of the wind blowing. You can feel there's a little bit of wind coming through here now, uh, but we've had virtually no issues with that. Uh, the tent actually comes with a, uh, just a pull type door. Uh, so you've got two curtains, almost like a shower curtain, but on the tent itself, we found over the years, it, it tends to be a little bit more of an aggravation. So we had our 16 foot deer blind guy, our carpenter, uh, RK, he's built us a door. And the question a lot of people will ask, why such a small window? Because obviously if, you're, if you shoot a buck and you wanna sleep in, you don't want all that sunlight coming in on you. So you, know, you keep it nice and dark in there. We have lighting inside there and the, the inside's pretty well lit when you need it. Uh, but that way, you know, we can peek out, see who's coming down the road. We know what's going on. We've got gas barbecue, full-size gas barbecue out here uh, that we use to basically warm our meals. All our meals are pretty much brought in uh, aluminum tins and we'll put them on the grill to preheat them because we don't have an oven. So we'll put them on the grill, get it hot. That way we have a nice hot meal. Around the area, we've got different things that you can see like the propane tanks behind me. We're heating, uh, we have a gas stove inside. Over the years, when I first started up here, we started with uh, wood. And wood is, when you're a young man, it's easy to take care of the wood situation, but wood is either 140 degrees or it's 22 degrees. So there's no in between. Uh, a few years ago, we actually, well, quite a few years ago, we actually went to fuel oil. Uh, we've got two fuel oil units right now that are back at home and uh, them fuel oil units, we pulled the jackets off so we could get the extra heat in there. And uh, we used them for quite a few years. And two years ago or three years ago, we actually went to a gas-fired 
uh, LP gas propane uh, stove or, or uh, unit heater inside. And that basically we have the three tanks that we hook up one tank, turn it on, it keeps it at a number one level or a 72, 75 degree uh, inside the tent. And we've also got a fan that sits inside the tent that actually circulates the air inside the tent. So it's always comfortable. You can wear your shorts, your, you know, your gym shorts and your running shoes if that's what you choose. Or you can get dressed up in the traditional UP style, plaid, plaid. We've got our drink making station out here. Uh, we, we get that set up. It is, does have our name on top of the table. When you can see it when it's, brand, or when it's first pulled out, you can see the, the name on top of there. We've got four water jugs, five gallon jugs. And them five gallon jugs, we actually have a crock well that's down over the hill and through the woods. But that crock well has been here for probably 50, 60, 70 years plus. So with that crock well, we go down and actually dip water out of the crock well. So usually we can get about 10 to 15 gallons of water out of the crock well. And when you, when you get the water out of the crock well, you have to go up a hill and then probably I'm going to say a good two to 300 yards back to camp. We did not put that crock well in. This was put in years and years ago by a good friend of ours. Uh, his uh, father, grandfather, uh, they were up here and, and they actually put the crock well in. They talked about it. We went and found it. We got her cleaned up, put some stones in the bottom of it, filtered it real well. And uh, that's our water that we use. Now we do put that water on the, the LP stove inside to heat it for dishes and whatnot, and then we have to heat it again to boil it and make sure everything is good. Um, around the corner, we have where our tarps come down the side of the tent. We actually have an area where we can put our beer and pop, so if it does snow, uh, we're not gonna get snow on the goods, you could say, on the boxes and whatnot. We've got, here in the front, we've got a couple, three trash bags. We'll take them over to our good friend of ours and uh, he'll take them into town and put them in his dumpster in uh, where he lives in town. We have kind of gotten away from the LP gas as much as now we're using a lot of, of Milwaukee batteries for lighting and such. Uh, we do have the generator here in camp. Uh, it's a Generac 2200 inverter generator. And usually the only time we use it is at nighttime. Uh, we have four people, myself included, that we're a, a CPAP or a BiPAP in camp. So that's how we operate the, the CPAP and BiPAP is with the generator at nighttime. And then we also charge our Milwaukee batteries at the same time. Um, so that's kind of why we have a generator. Uh, normally we have, when we charge everything, it gets shut down during the daytime. Right now it's off. Uh, we, we are in a location where producer Zach has been trying to upload a video. It takes him about four hours to get enough service up here to get a, a video to upload. And obviously that eats his battery on his computer and whatnot. So just one of them crazy things. You can see in the back, we've got the chimney for the stove. Comes out the side of the tent. When we bought the chimney pipe, we actually created a one inch diameter airspace all the way around that chimney so that that tent doesn't get hot. And then we just zip tie it right to the tent. You'll get a little fresh air coming in and out of there, uh, but we've got two stakes in there to hold that chimney up above so we get good draft and we don't have any issues with carbon monoxide inside. As you can see right now, we have no snow. Uh, two days ago, we had about two inches of snow. We've had, uh, probably about 10 years ago, we had a year where we had almost 36 inches of snow up here in November, which is really cool for about the first three days until you get the stuff beat down enough or, or padded down where it's easier to walk. But yes, it, it gets a little hard uh, walking out to your blinds. Most everyone that hunts up here, we walk about 25 minutes to get to our blinds. Uh, myself, I'm a little slower. So usually mine's anywhere between 30 and 35 minutes. It, it's probably a, years ago, it was probably a 20 minute on a dead walk. No, like I say, it's a, it's a little slower for me. When we get here uh, to set up camp, we actually have to rake the leaves and the sticks away from there because you don't want to have a stick poking up through that carpet. So we rake everything down, get it smooth so that there's no leaves, no sticks, no nothing like that. And then we set our poly tarp on top of it, set the tent up, and then we have carpet that goes on top of that as well. Um, we do have 
a series of coolers. Obviously nowadays with the Arctic coolers and the Yeti coolers and stuff like that, we don't have ever, we have no refrigeration here whatsoever. So this year it's been reasonably warm. Obviously you can see a half gallon of milk sit on the bar table. Right now it's a little bit warmer. It'll go down tonight, 28 degrees, 32 degrees, something like that. So yeah, obviously we'll stick that milk in the cooler as we need to. Uh, pretty much I'm the only one that drinks milk up here. So yeah, you know, really not gonna hurt one way or the other. Just looking around, we've got the uh, hateful canopy. Up here again, if you get rain or snow and someone's cooking in the barbecue, making drinks, whatever the case may be, you wanna be dry. Uh, so this thing is a, is a canopy that never folds up the way it should. It pinches your fingers. You're yelling at someone because of the finger pinch and all that. So that's one thing that may disappear in years, years to come. Um, but yeah, it's, it's one, of them, one of them deals. We'll figure it out one way or the other. We all spend $400 for camp. So when we leave back home, we've got $2,000 for, for camp, uh, camp fees. And what that covers is that covers our breakfast food, our lunch food, and um, basically any of our juices, milks, butters, eggs. It also covers the fuel on the way up and on the way back for the vehicles. We buy pizza the night we get up here at Riverside Pizza in Iron County. Best pizza in uh, Iron River. Um, so that covers all of that. Uh, we, we normally will bring our own meals. So everyone, depending on how long we're here, is responsible for at least one meal and either a soup or a dessert. I'm gonna spin the camera around, I'll show you the trailer. So here's the trailer, guys. Uh, this is what we pull up, 20 feet long. Uh, you can see the sides are about four foot. We always have a big hump on the inside for all the extra clothing and whatnot. So we have uh, pipes inside the, the trailer, four pipes, four or five pipes to hold the tarp up. Keeps any rain and snow from actually building up on the tarp. Um, that way it doesn't, you don't get a sag in there. It just lets everything run off to the side. So this year, guys, if you can see a lot of the fallen trees behind us, we actually have a creek, 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 creek that runs out back behind us. Uh, and usually what happens is over the years, uh, the beavers will get in there and they will actually dam up the, the river, creek, whatever you want to call it in behind us. Well, as you can see, them beavers had really come up and worked this area like crazy. Uh, so we've got a lot of fallen trees down here. This is our path that goes down to our well. So obviously everyone asks, hey guys, where do you do your business at? You have that first, second cup of coffee in the morning. You need to take care of things. You need to relieve yourself. Here is the, what we consider the upper, let's call it pooper. Basically this one here, uh, we built the box at home. We've actually got a piece of two-inch styrofoam that we set on top of there. Keeps the buns warm when you're when it's out here and it's negative or it's 28 degrees. Or we've got the tarp to keep the rain and snow off you. We'll take you down to the lower. Well, here you go, guys. This is the lower. Um, each one probably about 30 or 40 feet away from camp. A little bit of seclusion here, so you can come out, read the paper. Or, do whatever you need to do out here. Check your phone. Uh, papers are always a good thing to read. We obviously have the baby wipes and we have the TP uh, to come out and do your, do your business and get everything cleaned up. So you always wanted to know where, where you went. Here you go, upper and lower pooper. So here we go, guys. We got the buck pole. Right now it's the day before season. We're not big on bow hunting here. Uh, we usually use it just to set stands and whatnot. So we've got an empty buck pole. Hopefully tomorrow morning, CTP will have his big giant buck on the buck pole. Uh, looks like we do have a little small sag from one side to another. So if we get too many bucks, we'll actually fix that up. Well guys, hopefully this is going to conclude the outdoor of the double lung hunt camp, Iron County, Michigan. And uh, no snow, 50 some degrees right now. Tomorrow it's supposed to be 54. Enjoy your time out in the outdoors. Enjoy your family this time of year. Uh, it's a great time to become reacquainted with old friends and family. So, and also don't forget to check out Small Town Laser Creations online. They're the people that make my channel possible. Also check out their live stream Tuesday night, Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. on YouTube. Thanks for watching. See ya!